gang. What's up guys, Silas here. In case you ain't already know that from my narcissist and more conceitedness about the title, the website, all these other things with my name on it. Back here with another video for you guys. I was trying to really find out a good way to re-enter my vlogging and also my video series for some of y'all who used to watch me. Link for my old videos will not be in the description. And a lot of you guys wanted me to get back into the vlog. Last week I posted a blog post on seven unforgotten perks of being in college. Link will be in the description and i got tons and tons and tons of comments from you guys or dms and posts about how some of these things you didn't realize you were actually paying for and some of these things you were like hmm that's another bonus that i could take advantage of while i'll be here in college so due to the feedback and the rave on that i decided to go ahead and make the full video of what i've been saving for of 10 i hope it's 10 not then this video is automatically a fail already 10 college tips on how to be successful in college not gonna prolong this any long, let's just get directly into this video, shall we? Alright, tip number one, go to class. Nah, like for real, I gotta get serious right here. You would be amazed at how many people just come to college just to slack off. Seriously. You're already paying for it one way or another, either through your taxes, scholarships, or paying out of your own pocket whatsoever. Go to class. Do not waste money. This one tip here alone will help you so far, so far, so far up in college, guys. Just going to class, you can give you an update on upcoming projects or deadlines or even secret bonus points that the teacher is going to offer to you. Opportunities anything just go to class even if you don't feel like going even if you spent the whole entire night drinking and partying and then stayed out to 4 a.m and then you know you got an eight o'clock class to hell with it get up in your pajamas and go to class i promise you you will be much more thankful that you did tip number two this is more so like a personal tip of mine that i'm spread on across to plenty of my friends and all all of them found it very beneficial so i'm gonna spread it to you guys do your homework to classical music now I me mean, i'm the type of guy I like listening to Dolph Gotti, 21, and yours truly, whenever I'm doing work. However, whenever your brain needs a constant focus or it needs an extended amount of focus from yourself and you're going to have to use your analytical skills, it's best to do it to classical music. Data shows that I don't have, but I know it's somewhere out there, that classical music actually helps you focus more. Whereas with other music with lyrics and songs, you're going to tend more to focus on what the song is saying rather than what you're supposed to be studying or focusing on as, as far as educational purposes. So just go ahead and take the words out, play a nice little classical music or piano chill music, and just do your homework to that. You retain much more information if you do. Number three, utilize your student resources. I kind of touched up onto this in this last week blog that I posted. Link, like I said, is in the description. Those hidden fees that you see up on your student bill, stuff that you like, I didn't sign up for this. Sh Those are what you like to call your student resources. Don't be another college student just going through college and then just paying for stuff and wasting money and then not utilize a damn thing. Whether that's the library, reprinting the computer lab, whether you're going to the gym, the health center, the clinic, any of that. Utilize it while you're in college. Just don't go the entire four years and just wasting it. Tip number four. If the teacher repeats it, 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 please, please, please write it down. That teacher is not just crazy. Nine times out of ten, that teacher is crazy. Not just that, too. That teacher is probably trying to tell you that this information here is important, that you need to know it. Whether it's an upcoming deadline or project, secret bonus point on answer on a test, write it down. Because I'm telling you, you're going to look back over that information. You're going to be like, oh, I remember them saying this. Boom. Number five, you are an adult. Nobody cares if you come to class. Nobody's gonna care if you did your homework. Nobody's gonna care if you have enough money to pay for food. You are on your own. Well, not really, but you have to understand that you are no longer a kid anymore. The real world is here, bitch. And it's either gonna stomp you and keep it moving like it did Mufasa, or you're just gonna have to end up keep rolling with it. There are a lot of expectations and a lot of responsibilities that you're gonna have to take up on yourself. Nobody's gonna tell you to do your homework. Nobody's gonna tell you to shower. Nobody's gonna tell you to do your laundry. Oh yeah, I hope you shower though. I hope you do two of those three things. Still nonetheless, it's up to you to take care of yourself, take care of your grades, and be on your shit. Tip number six. Number six, save multiple files. You email it to yourself, whether that's on a flash drive, whether that's on a hard drive, whether that's on your email, whatever you do on the cloud, whatever you do, save multiple files because you do not want to be one of those students that's emailing the teacher last minute say you did your project, you did your assignment, but you don't have it here or your computer crashed here. Like I said in the last tip, you are an adult. They don't care. They don't want to hear that. Don't have no excuses. That actually goes into tip number seven. Communicate with your professors. What I always do on the first day of class, 
whether that's going up to them, shaking their hands and introducing myself, or if that's just hitting the following up with another email after I introduce myself and saying, hey, I'm looking forward to the semester. Talk to your professors because it's much more easier to help out a student, especially at the end of the year, if you need a few bonus points to get up, to get to the next grade. It's much more easier to give points to a person that you know and communicate it with rather than a complete stranger that you even wonder if they even show what they face in class. Tip number eight. Work. I was gonna say this last, I was gonna say this first, but then it just really came now, so it don't really matter. That's what she said. <laughs> but network. Really, I think this is the most important thing out of college. First, this one, and then the education. And then third is the last tip that I'm gonna tell you. Stay tuned at the end of the video. But the number one thing is networking. Everybody already knows this. Most jobs in this world are usually obtained because of people you know. Don't just be stuck in your room all day. Don't just be a boring little dwarf. Get out there, talk to people, talk to your professors, join clubs, join networks, organizations. It doesn't matter. Even if you have to work and go to school, constantly don't have time for all that stuff. Like me. Find a way to get involved, find a way to get out there. Even talk in class, something. Get numbers, meet new people, talk, expand. Because this will matter later on down the line, especially after you graduate, whether that's getting a job or opening up opportunities for yourself. Tip number nine, I found this tip very, very, I wish somebody told me this in freshman year. I just didn't listen. Budget your money. We're in college, we're broke as hell. Let's, not, let's be honest, me and my rapper money, I'm still broke as hell in college. Still, the most important fact is you have to budget your money. This is where you actually start practicing becoming an adult. I got $7, bag of chips cost $1.69. I gotta make the rest of that $5.31 last to the rest of the end of the week. Become very good at budgeting your money. Tip number 10, believe in the freshman 15. Believe in it, guys. It's more real than Santa Claus, I kid you not. I done put on a freshman 15. Plenty of my friends done put on a freshman 15. It becomes so easy just to sit there, constantly eat, and constantly gain weight. Like I said earlier, take advantage of your student resources. Hit the gym. Don't create no excuses for all them pounds accumulated. The last and final tip, and I'll use this to close out this video, guys. It's not even a tip. It's actually the most important thing in college. Stand up for yourself and believe in you. Don't do anything you aren't comfortable in. Try not to exit your comfort zone if you don't see a reason to. Times where I exit my comfort zones, if I see something potentially better on the other end. Don't just do it just out of curiosity. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys. Hopefully these tips will make your college life easier. Shall we? The next week, ah, yeah.